Hello guys, um, so today I decided to make a tutorial video because uh, some of my viewers have been asking for this as well. So this is a tutorial regarding the Alan Walker's faded uh, lounge pad cover. Um, because this this uh, project is ori originally made for lounge pad, uh, Mark II. It's not actually meant to work on Launchpad S or the first generation Launchpad. So to make it work, you need to do some adjustments on MIDI mappings. Uh, the first thing to do uh, is to set up the samples and uh, light show basically uh, for your Launchpad. That you would be able to see all the lightning, uh, light effects, and everything else. So basically, first, what you need to do is to go to your samples, make sure that you got Launchpad input, which at the moment there is. I got my uh, Launchpad as connected through uh, USB. So you just need to click on this. I know that sometimes it already says that it's Launchpad, but even so, you still need to. Uh, get the uh, pop-down menu out and click on the launch pad um, right I recording this uh, on uh, iMac from mid 2009 so it's a bit slow so bear with me for a moment moment yeah so you see it changes into a launch pad now I'm 100% sure that it's working. Now when you check the lights, you also need to change into a launchpad input. Because if if you're not going to change those uh, into a launchpad, you won't be able to get any light effects. So, and that sucks. So let's just give it a moment. Uh, now, launchpad light effects goes on a channel 1. When you change the ins and here out into a launchpad S, it automatically sets to a channel 1. Uh, I can't actually remember on which uh, channel is for launchpad mark uh, 1, but as long as you change the, uh, the ins and outs into a launchpad, uh, it should automatically set to correct channel. So yeah, you see now it changed into a channel 1. Then what you need to do is uh, to change the glowing lights into a launchpad input. Let's just give it a moment. And after this we're going to move to another step. This is These steps are only to make uh, launchpad work and the lights work. The next step going to I'll show you how to adjust the mini mappings uh, for this particular project uh, to that you would be able to cycle through the pages uh, because I know that people are pushing those uh, round buttons on their launch pads and they said it's still the same uh, set of sounds on each of the uh, each of the page. Uh, I just now changed. Uh, glowing lights out into a launch pad as well so you should see that channel 3 should be changing into a channel 1 and I'm just going to check on my launch pad right here uh, unfortunately I can't really I don't really know how to put one image into another that I would be able to show you live what's happening on my uh, launch pad but I'm going to put a couple of static pictures uh, of what you need to press to uh, to get your launchpad working so now everything is set and I will check my launchpad yeah yeah I do get the lights uh, but when I cycle through the pages now I still get the same sound, uh, set of sounds. So what you need to do now is you need to go into your MIDI, click on MIDI, and now you need to choose uh, which lines. Now the difference uh, of the racks is uh, because some of them are on the 
uh, keys and the other sound chain. I'm going to show you what you need exactly to do. So we need to click on the line, oh sorry, right here, to highlight it. Yeah, now the, the link is highlighted and you need to go down there where the drum rack, instrument rack, everything is and click on this button that you would be able to uh, pick a chain. So as I said, uh, these are set on macros and the lights are set on chains. So they have slightly different uh, uh, way of setting up. So now to set the first, the samples, you need to click on this and choose the chain selector. And you see I get uh, it framed in the corner, so I know that it's chosen. And now I'm going to put the static pictures of how you need to press the buttons, which is you need to press the top button of the uh, you know uh, those round buttons at the side you need to press at the same time the top and the bottom one and it should change into five there was six in the mom uh, a moment ago so it changes into five that means that mappings for the sound already been changed now you need to do the same uh, almost same things for the lights and glowing lights to get the light, uh, light effects. So now you need to click on the lights and highlight the line. The difference is you need to, on the lights, you need to go on chain here. You need to click on the chain and highlight this purple area. Just click anywhere in there. And it, you just highlighted it. Then you need to press those two buttons the same way as you did for uh, sample mappings. You press all of those buttons, uh, then you need to uh, highlight the glowing lights again and do the same thing uh, with the chain and you need to highlight this purple area and you need to press those two buttons stop and the bottom one again. So after this you need to click on MIDI. And everything should be working now, so I'm going to attempt the first page. Yep, yeah, this works. The second page. Yep, yeah. everything at the moment is working. The third page. Yeah, so now everything's working and I'm pretty sure that we set. So if you're going to follow these steps, uh, you should be able to run uh, Alan Walker's Faded project. Now, I'm pretty sure that this should be working for uh, most of other projects, which are meant to work on uh, Launchpad Mark II. So uh, just uh, don't uh, don't forget that light effects they normally go on the chain, and the sample uh, uh, samples goes on the keys. But sometimes it might vary, so you need to make sure that well, kind of you know where's what. Um, yeah, so that should be everything. Uh, if you like this video, subscribe to us, uh, leave a comment, we're gonna try to answer to all your questions. Uh, it was nice to make this tutorial and I hope I helped to few people uh, here who has trouble. Uh, I mean, I had some of, I had the same trouble before I, I found out how to work this out. So, thanks for watching, peace out.